Some days later, the Buddha arrived in Sarnath and made his way to the deer park in search of his five old friends. They weren't pleased to see him. They had given him up as a failure when he had stopped fasting. Here comes Siddhartha, the one who went back to the easy life. Well, let him come if he wants to, said another. But he needn't think we'll pay him respect. Just ignore him. But as the Buddha drew near, they couldn't help themselves. They too could see he was different. There was something impressive about him to which they could not help responding. Even his skin shone with a golden glow. Immediately, they offered him a seat, greeted him and took his bowl. The Buddha came straight to the point. Listen, friend. I have finally found the answer. I have come to show you how you too can break free. The five ascetics did not believe him. How can that be? You did not win your quest even while you endured those hardships, fasting, sitting out under the blazing sun. How can you have broken free now that you have given up trying? But the Buddha persisted. He reasoned with them. He argued with them and, in the end, he managed to persuade them at least to listen to what he had to say. It was the full moon day of June-July. The rains had just begun, and throughout the months of the rainy season, they talked, they discussed, and they meditated. Then, at last, one of the five, Kondanya, suddenly jumped up, exclaiming, I can see it too! The Buddha was overjoyed. Kondanya knows. Kondanya understands. And one by one, the others began to see the truth for themselves. By the end of the rainy season, there were six enlightened beings in the world. After teaching the five ascetics at the deer park in Sarnath, the Buddha and his now enlightened friends set off on foot in different directions to teach people the truth that the Buddha had discovered. People who met the Buddha were very struck by his appearance, by the way he walked, sat down, ate his food, and talked with people, or just kept quiet. The truth of his teachings could be seen in the way that he lived his life. After meeting him, people had confidence and trust in the Buddha. There had been many great teachers, but none had really embodied such high ideals in the way that they lived. Many people decided on the spot to give up their old ways and follow his teaching. Many people also gained enlightenment by following his example. 